Did you know you can connect your Bluetooth devices to your Fire Stick, such as your headphones, speakers, keyboard, a mouse, or even a different Fire Stick remote? If you want to find out more, then let's go and take a look. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. Firstly, your Bluetooth device needs to be discoverable. Turn on your headphones, speakers or other Bluetooth device and make sure that pairing mode is activated. This can usually be done by pressing a button on your device to turn it on. But not all Bluetooth devices have an on button or a pairing button, such as an Amazon Fire TV remote. So make sure you refer to the manufacturer's instructions for your device if you have any issues. Next, on your Fire Stick, search for the Bluetooth device you want to connect to. To do this, go into Settings, Remotes and Bluetooth Devices. Select the type of Bluetooth device you want to pair, either an Amazon Fire TV remote, game controller or other Bluetooth device such as headphones. In this example, I want to pair my 8-bit DOE game controller. So I'm going to select Game Controllers and then select Add New Game Controller. Your Fire Stick will then search for Discoverable Controllers and you'll see it appear on screen when it's been found. Select the name of the controller to pair it. You can connect multiple Bluetooth devices at once. I also want to pair my Bluetooth headphones so I can go back and add them as well. Choosing the other Bluetooth devices option and then selecting add Bluetooth devices. Your Fire Stick will search for discoverable Bluetooth devices when your headphones have been found Click on them to pair them and they are ready to use. Although you can connect more than one Bluetooth device, this way doesn't allow your Fire TV device to stream audio to two pairs of Bluetooth headphones at the same time. However, I have another video that guides you through how to do this. You can find a link to this video in the description below or in the link above me. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. 
These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days. However, I, 